Hello, my name is Gian Pietro Balia. Uh, I'm one of the programmers of the Black Knights Film Festival, and uh, I'm here with uh, Iranian director Navid Danish, and uh, he's the director of the film uh, uh, Duet, which is in competition in the uh, first feature uh, section of the competitions. And um, this is going to be the world premiere of the film, so First of all, thank you very much for trusting us and giving us the, the honor to screen for the first time in the world your film and to put it out there uh, in the world. And I would like you just to give a small background to understand where the film comes from and uh, how you came up with the idea and how you developed the, screen, the screenplay and the film later. Um, how did you arrive? You, you made a short film, and uh, from the short film, then you developed the, the feature. What was the process, and uh, how did you get also the very peculiar and very specific uh, story uh, that was first in the short film and then extended in the feature? Thank you. Uh, firstly, I'm very glad and I'm very happy to be here. It's really my pleasure to uh, start with Talins because what I uh, uh, find out in these days, uh, Tallinn is a very unique because of uh, priority it follows in picking films, uh, and that's cinema, pure cinema. So I'm thank you. I'm very I thanks uh, for choosing my film. Uh, about the film, uh, if I want to explain about the roots. Uh, I should uh, go back to my uh, feature, um, to my short uh, film duet, which I made it three years ago. Uh, and uh, it, uh, its first premiere was in uh, Cannes Cine Foundation. Uh, in Cannes, uh, there's a uh, it was very successful uh, between audiences and, of course, uh, uh, Cannes, uh, uh, Dimitra, yes, Dimitra Karya, uh, the manager and director, artistic director of the Cine Foundation. She encouraged me very much to, uh, you know, develop the story to a feature film. And it was the uh, thing that I thought uh, before about that. So I came back to Iran and worked uh, on the characters and the development starts with the develop the characters, uh, history. And uh, I have, I worked several months and I rewrite, uh, uh, maybe 10 times and each time and the point of view of characters, different characters. Uh, I put myself, I had put myself in the shoes of the characters and watch the, what happens and what's going on uh, inside them, you know. Uh, and I, you know, my attempt was that to uh, put myself outside the uh, story. Uh, and uh, I try to not judge characters. Uh, I try to uh, be uh, made a space equally between them. Uh, and uh, it was the process for uh, writing the script. Yeah. And um, we've been very lucky and honored uh, in the past few years to have several Iranian films in competition. And uh, every year it's really hard to choose because it's been several years that uh, the Iranian uh, cinema has been releasing and uh, putting out in the world amazing works, amazing films. 
And um, last year we had the pleasure to have Avalanche in the main competition by Morteza Farshbaf, who's acting in your film. Uh, so it was beautiful to see a link uh, between the two of you. And uh, one thing that um, links uh, also, for example, the film Breath, which is in uh, our main competition this year, is the um, attention to the details, the meaning of everything that happens in the film the several layers of the story of the characters, the psychology of the characters, and how every individual element on screen, on every individual shot, has a meaning, uh, has a reason to be there. So what is your process, uh, and how did you build the uh, several layers, and how did you approach the writing first, and then the mise-en-scene, in order to uh, have this wonderful result? Uh, actually, all of this comes from uh, the uh, theme and context of the characters and the movie. Uh, the most thing I worked and taught that time, that process during the writing the uh, script was uh, the conflicts we uh, have with the past and memories. Uh, I try to make characters uh, which are, uh, has different strategies uh, in their behavior, in their mind, uh, to uh, face with the past. So uh, I have two couples uh, which are maybe Maybe they are not very right person to each other. Uh, when, uh, and I uh, thought when and when I uh, think uh, when I thought about the uh, past memories, I found and uh, we have uh, four uh, ways to face with it. Should we confess it? Should we delve in it, uh, into it? Should we uh, live with that, with it? And should we cut it off and go to the future? My characters, uh, we uh, made them based on these ideas. Their strategy, strategies in facing with the past uh, made uh, some conflicts inside and outside. And it's the main point uh, to go through the characters and the film. Uh, did I answer yeah. your question? Yeah. Absolutely. And um, what we've seen in the past few years also in a, in a sort of um, development and enrichment of the uh, offering uh, coming from Iran is that um, the spectrum is much wider of what we see coming out of the country in terms of filmmaking. So uh, it's not just political statements, but it's also, as in your case, um, individual stories, individual struggles, uh, dealing with the past or dealing with your you, dealing with yourself and with the person uh, next to you. Um, so, what do you think is the uh, direction? the Iranian cinema is actually taking and uh, uh, I know you have many contacts and uh, you have many friends who do the same same job and uh, what is your personal position, what is your personal opinion and uh, are you happy about uh, how things are going, how things are moving and uh, what is your, um, what do you see for the future? Uh, you know, we have uh, two main figures in uh, last years in Iranian cinema, Abbas Kiorostami and Ashar Farhadi. Uh, and of course, uh, in these years, last years, uh, most European festivals and uh, outside festivals, uh, they picked up uh, Iranian films uh, in, with different strategies. Uh, maybe the films like my film, 
maybe films like Avalanche you mentioned, or two you mentioned, which were in Italians last year. Uh, and the young generations, Iranian filmmakers, uh, going to change uh, these strategies. They just, most of them, most of them are just think about the cinema and different uh, cinemas, uh, you know, uh, my film, Duet, for example, is trying to uh, show the different side of Iranian society, different side of Iranian characters and their difficulties, their uh, mental issues, their uh, conflicts and when uh, and it's new for European festivals to pick these kind of movies you know movies that are not uh, with radical political issues movies are not uh, going to main figure Iranian figures way and actually I believe this generation will be very successful, will be very, uh, made, make very good films in uh, future years, yeah. I agree on that and I totally believe it will happen. Um, especially because the examples that we've seen in the past few years are just outstanding. Um, and your film is no exception at all. Like it's, it's following absolutely the especially as a debut it's outstanding and um, when I watched the film for the first time um, I just couldn't take my eyes off the screen because every individual shot I would be seeing something different and I actually saw the film a few times like several times um, because when you watch it for the first time, you see many things, but then you just start questioning yourself. I, I surely missed something. Let me go back and see even more uh, precisely. So uh, the more actually one pays attention to it, like in a book, you go back and read it again and find new things, find new meanings, new. Uh, the more actually one does this, the more uh, layers you discover in the film. and. Uh, both in terms of story, uh, characters, mise-en-scene, and uh, uh, um, scenography, like locations and set design. Um, I have like a personal curiosity that I wanted to ask you. Um, as we mentioned uh, previously, um, one of the actors is Morteza Fashbaf. Uh, uh, I don't even have to... Uh, describe his uh, qualities as a director uh, because I, I just loved his films and uh, he also won here in uh, uh, Tallinn a few years ago and yes, and last year he was here and it was my personal pick uh, but I wasn't in a jury uh, and um, what I wanted to ask you is how was it like working with him and working with a director and directing a director uh, you're probably friends, so you have a personal relationship of uh, how was it like and uh, how was he as, a, as an actor as well uh, working with you? Uh, actually, uh, of course, thank you for uh, your words about the film. It's very nice to hear these words. Uh, about Morteza, uh, actually, it's the uh, most easy uh, part of the film was working with Morteza because he's a director, I'm a director. Uh, we have a, and also we are we, were, we are friends. Uh, so he can put himself in my shoes very easily. Uh, and uh, also sometimes uh, he helped me in controlling the uh, scene and uh, do uh, mise-en-scene and blocking. Uh, maybe outside of the film, it seems 
Uh, it could be difficult working with the director, but no, it was really the uh, easy and very helpful part of the film for me. I don't, uh, I, I have like thousands of other questions, but I don't want to go too much into details because I would be spoiling the film. Uh, and uh, because there are so many, so many details, like uh, the framing to separate the characters, um, uh, natural elements like water, the, the meanings and uh, the roles of the characters that have a metaphor on who they are and where they are in their uh, life. Uh, once again, the opposition between past and present and future especially uh, that are projected by locations, by moods, by framing distances and uh, by what the characters do and say. So there, there are really thousands of elements to discuss. But um, I'm just going to let the viewers and the audience go watch the film uh, and discover by themselves because I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, I just want to thank you for being here, uh, for giving us your film and trusting us uh, to put the film out there in the world. And I really wish you all the success you can get and even more because you deserve it and your film deserves it. And uh, once again, thank you very much for being here. And good luck on the competition. Good luck.